Hello everybody, Philippe aka The Beard BE here, aka The Bearded Picker or however you want to call me. Um, I forgot to do an intro in, on, in the weekend, so well, let's do it now. Uh, not a lot of flea markets the last week, uh, last weekend actually I did one on Saturday and I did one on Sunday and that's it, I think. Yes, that's it. Um, I got some really nice things, but I um, didn't get a lot, so let's get into it. Bonjour. Excusez-moi, est-ce que vous savez si ça marche encore S'il vous plaît Est-ce que ça marche encore ça... Ah, ça n'a même pas été ouvert. Ah d'accord, d'accord, ah oui, bah oui, je voyais le... le... Ça n'a même pas été ouvert. D'accord, donc ça doit encore marcher. Donc c'est un euro si j'ai oui. bien compris, ben voilà. Enfin, j'espère que ça fonctionne, parce que ça n'a jamais été ouvert. Ah bah oui, ben bah, voilà, c'est ça, s'il vous plaît. <rire> La bonne vente. Merci. Oh. Check European Union. No. Not at one euro. Faites ça combien? Maman. Maman. D'accord. Allez, vous combien Parce qu'elle marche déjà. Ah oui, mais c'est à pile. C'est à pile, oui. Oui, oui, oui. oui, oui, oui. <rire> Je m'en doutais. Euh... Oh. Je donnerai 2 euros. Euh, oui. oui, allez. Oui Allez, merci. Ah, d'accord, d'accord. 2 euros. Je vais regarder. dans le bon sens. Bah, comme ça ouvre vers le haut, je crois, oui. Elle est beau, hein? Pour 2 euros, vous pouvez la voir. Bon, tout je liquide aujourd'hui. <rire> Allez, ben c'est bon. Le, on va sans coincer mes doigts dedans. <rire> Méfiez-vous quand même. Ma maman devrait être bien. Elle, elle devrait tenir fermée, mais enfin. C'est ouais. un peu dommage. Que vous avez de retour sur 10 euros. Oui. Pas de souci. Bon, je vais rappeler papa, il vient vous chercher. Hein. Je viens vous 
Oui, il y a de, du 38 jusqu'au 44. Ah, mais. Bon, euh... Alors, je suis bon, désolée, mais c'est de la monnaie, monsieur. Oh non, non, il n'y a pas de souci. Donc, je vous dois 7. Non. 5. 6. Et 7. Voilà, parfait. Non, je vous dois 8. Vous ah oui, 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 bien. Vous voulez en plus. <rire> S'il vous plaît, 8. Je n'étais pas encore parti, donc c'est. Excusez-moi. Ah oh, merci. C'est des vieux. Euh... <rire> merci. Surtout parce que je reconnais les deux figures, mais je, je crois que c'est de quand j'étais jeune, quoi. Euh, c'est pas comment il s'appelle euh, Ninja. Ah oui, ça peut être ça, ouais. Oui, c'est ça. Ça doit être ça, ouais. Euh... <rire> bah, peut-être dans les ennemis, j'en sais rien. Hein. Mais. Oui, c'est ça. Hein. C'est ça. C'est pour ça que j'étais en train de regarder. C'est la même inscription, donc normalement ça doit être le même. Il demande de combien euh, 55 pour les deux. C'est la nostalgie, ça. Voilà. S'il vous plaît. <rire> Je prends. Oui, il n'y a pas de souci. Si je prends plusieurs horloges, vous me faites un prix pour le lot Là, c'est tout, pour... tout à un euro. Ah, tout à un, un euro. Oui, n'importe lequel. Ah, oui, oui, d'accord. Ah, d'accord, d'accord. Il y en a beaucoup qui. J'en ai déjà vendu beaucoup parce qu'il y en a qui achètent pour les bracelets. Oui. Ils démontent et, et ils ont les bracelets. Mais ouais. c'est tout à un euro. Ah, d'accord, ça va. Ça va Ça va, ça va. Je croyais que c'était juste ici. Non, euh... non, non, non c'est tout. D'accord. Ja, maar wacht, want jij bent aan het nemen zonder te. We ja. prenons 10 horloges là. Oui, monsieur, oh, mais j'ai des sachets dans mon sac à dos, ça va. Oui, oui, il n'y a pas de souci. Donc c'est combien pour tous les 10 Eh bien, il y en a 10, ça fait oui. 10 euros. Bon, ben voilà, d'accord. Euh, voilà, ça. Merci, monsieur. S'il vous plaît. C'est bien gentil. Merci. Moi, je voulais je tout. tout. <rire>
as you can see, I got uh, two flea markets, one in uh, Chastres and one in Jodogne. So um, I did one Saturday all by myself and Sunday I took my little girl with me and she, as usual, got a lot of free stuff. So that's good for her. Um, it's small things that I can't sell, but uh, she's happy with it and it makes uh, it gives her something to do and she can uh, share it with, the, with her brother and stuff so it's quite fun for her to go to uh, flea markets also and it makes that I, I'm not alone and sometimes I even get better deals because she's there so yeah cool thing um, anyway what did I get uh, well on Saturday actually my first sale was directly a big 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 hit um, I was browsing around on one of the stands and uh, it was actually a garage sale in front of the flea market so were some neighbors of the flea market that also did their uh, garage sale and um, I was looking around I left some uh, plush uh, animals over there or some stuffed animals over there but uh, that I should have picked up like the that's um, Stitch one. Well, it's not Stitch, it's girlfriend, but I always forget how she's called, so... I think it's Angel, yeah. So Stitch, the the Angel, Angel version of Stitch in Stuffed Animal. I should have picked her up. She's about 25 euros if you uh, put her up on, uh, on eBay, so... Okay, yeah, I missed out. But then, when I was about to leave the stand, um, I just saw on a corner of the, of the blanket that I put down, uh, I saw a box that looked really vintage. And so I picked it up, looked at it, it, says it said 1998, I was like, mm -hmm. there was a sticker of 1 euro on it, something I've never heard of, never seen, never, so I was like, Okay, I'll take the risk. I'll I'll spend one euro to get this thing. Um, I asked her, does it work? Well, it's actually never been out of the box, so I verify. And indeed, the original tape, factory steel tape, is still on the box. So I have in my hands a thirty-year-old box that I mint of a series that I don't know, never seen, but looks quite geeky. So. I'm like, okay, here's one euro, thank you very much, and I left as soon as I could. Because, and then I started looking online, couldn't find anything, stuff like that. In the meantime, I have found a lot of information about it. So basically, it is um, Nasta that originally brought out um, the reactors series, and they had like nine, nine or, or eleven models that uh, are part of that series. Um, the RP1 that I have is one of them. Um, but in Europe they came out under the brand of Savi, not Nasta. So, um, which basically means that the Nasta ones are already rare. You can find one uh, offer at the moment for that one. And then I have like, as far as I could find on the internet, there's like two uh, ever been sold on uh, eBay. And so <coughs> the Nasta one is going for uh, is listed for sixty dollars. It has not been uh, purchased yet. There are, are no comps for uh, that I can see. And um, so I'm going to list uh, this one at seventy five mint in box, not never opened. Nineteen uh, ninety eight. Actually, I might even do more than seventy five. I'll still have to figure out, but I will list it for quite a lot of money if this takes a long time to sell i don't care because this is a mint in box 1989 um that's just awesome and it's of a very 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 niche series of toys um so that's yeah that was that was the biggest find of the weekend for sure um then second boot i bought Shrita mugs uh, of Disney. Well, my children wanted uh, both one, so I have only one left, which you saw in the video now. Um, they are vintage. Um, they're from Disneyland, uh, Paris, I think. Uh, so I should get like, I bought them for one euro each. Um, I should get like 10, 12 because they're in box. So uh, that, okay, it's not a big. Uh, 
big sale, but it's okay. Um, <clears throat> then afterwards, uh, I went onto the flea market, and there, uh, one of the first uh, booths that there was there, they had like this singer children um, sewing machine, sewing machine, sewing machine. Um, lock stitch it's battery operated um, it was still in good condition I have not been able to test it because I don't have those huge batteries you know there, there's really huge uh, D cells or, or whatever they are they're enormous or C cells even they're 32 millimeters so they're an enormous I don't have them in stock uh, I might get a couple of them but I'm not sure I um, also might just put that thing uh, online that uh, sewing machine just like that it cost me two euros I probably can sell it for like 20 to 25 euros so that's okay um, a bit further up I looked out well no I got a lot of resistance on buying a box of uh, little figures, so I left it there. Um, then we got that backgammon game. Uh, it just looked nice. I love the game backgammon, so I, uh, I picked it up for two euros. It looks nice. It is complete. There's just one crack in the multiplier uh, uh, dice, but die, but that's not a big problem in my opinion. Uh, started looking around in the booklets and stuff like that. Turns out this. Uh, game this backgammon game is from 74 so 1974 that thing is like eight years older than i am yep i'm an old guy uh no i'm not um but yeah so this is definitely antique it looks well antique slash vintage it looks nice um it is in remarkable condition everything is there except for that little crack in the the multiplier die this this backgammon game is in in exceptional condition and it, it was the lux uh, version from Ravensburger uh, I haven't looked it up yet but in my opinion that should be around 40 to 50 euros I'll, I'll quickly look it up actually okay so here we are um, all the comps are for uh, our biddings but I do see wow I do see some uh, really, really uh, nice bits there, um, but let's say, well, I see for a vintage backgammon set, uh, ivory colored leather sweat case, 45 euros, um, I've seen listings for uh, 40 euros, I've seen even comps for 300 euros, so I have to figure out, I have to look a bit more into it. But yeah, definitely a good buy, two euros, I can convert that easily into, uh, especially because it's a deluxe version, it is leather, faux leather, um, it is complete, it's vintage, it's from 74, so it should be a good buy. Um, so that was, and then on Saturday, again, I find Teenage, Nini, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, stuff, so I got Splinter from 1988, and then I got... Um, the rabbit, I always forget his name. Um, anyway, he's from 1988 also. Um, so those are going, I paid 50 cents for them. I should be able to get like around 10 to 15 euros for those guys. They're in good condition. They don't have their accessories, but still they're okay. Um, so that, that was a good buy. That was the Saturday. Then on Sunday, um, Again, first boot directly, big uh, big buy. Um, there were two old ladies having again like a little garage sale in front of the flea markets. They were not officially part of the flea market, um, and went over there. They were still setting up, bringing stuff out and stuff like that. Um, I wasn't that early, but yeah, uh, people he over here don't tend to go before 10 o'clock, so I only have like professionals and so people don't go out. I don't set up before that time. So anyway, um, they were still bringing stuff out. Um, I see some watches, I start digging in. I see some uh, Casio G-Shocks. Like, okay, how uh, much is gonna ask for this? Uh, oh, they're all one euro. So I start picking up like one, one G shock, two G shocks. Um, then I, I see a Kelvin Klein one. 
not sure if I want it. Uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. Fant, uh, some more brands. Iger, um, a vintage. Well, I thought it was a vintage um, World War Two replica. Turns out it's from the um, Eagle Moss collection, which was uh, part of a series with a with a magazine. So. Not that big of a buy. Uh, picked up also the Monte Carlo Franklin Mint watch. Um, so I paid 10, no, I paid 11 euros for the whole lot, which were 11 watches. I'm wearing one myself. Um, we have one reserved for uh, gifts. Uh, it's a good looking one. Um, there's some that I doubt they're fake, so I'm not gonna, not gonna keep them. Um, and then we have the Casio G-Sharks, which are definitely not fake. I've been checking all their specifications and they all turn out to be correct. So um, those should be real. That would mean that they're around 55 euros each. Um, that Monte Carlo Franklin Mint watch, uh, although it's not your original um, bracelet for the watch, um, should also bring in around 50 euros. Um, the Iger one should bring in about 15 to 20 euros. So uh, all in all, I would get 11 euros spent and I will get around uh 150 to 200 euros out of it sounds a good deal to me um for the rest on the flea market not a lot of big stuff um i got those um snow globes from tweedy uh turns out they're not that valuable um but i got them for 50 cents so should be able to flip them for like five or ten euros that should be okay um then uh i got a lot of well i got seven more tapes, uh, video, ta video cassettes, VH VHS cassettes that were for uh, blank ones still in packaging. I already had one up on my store, now I have just seven to add, so that was an easy buy. I paid 50 cents for uh, each, so um, that's an easy buy. Just add it to the inventory and done, listed, photos are done. Uh, okay, that that's online. Um, so yeah. Um, then during the week that Quasar um, aftershave came arrived, so I've been checking it out. Um, it was not wrapped in cellophane, but for all the rest it seems to be legit, so um, I'm gonna take the risk and sell it online. It should bring... I bought it for around 11 euros, it should bring me between 50 and 90 euros, uh, so again uh how much did i get into it um on saturday i had one three so it's four six uh eight nine euros i spent yeah i spent nine euros on saturday i should get around 100 110 uh 130 uh 170 to 200 euros somewhere around that um then on sunday i spent uh three and a half plus one is four and a half plus 11 it's 15 15 and a half euros um and i should get around uh 250 to 300 euros so all in all i spent this weekend uh 25 euros around that <coughs> excuse me 25 euros and i should get around 500 um 500 to 600 in sales I think that's a good buy. That's a good week. I think we can do uh, better, of course. So uh, we'll go out this week again. We'll figure out what uh, where to source again. Not a lot of flea markets around. A bit more garage sales. So I'm gonna hit up the garage sales this weekend. Um, children are not uh, at home, so I got some more time to go around. Um, I will see. Uh, in the meantime, I've been listing. I need to list more. I still need to sort out that Playmobil from last week. So um, I still got a lot of work to do, but uh, we'll get there. We'll get there. And uh, also, after f I'm going to do a trip review on one of the Casio G-Shocks. So um, stay tuned for that in a couple of days. And 
see you next week with the